Scripture says, before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. This is God speaking to the psalmist. And uh, he's letting him know, before you were formed, before you even existed, before you even had problems or issues, before you had victories or triumphs, I knew who you were. Before you ever did anything, before you ever said anything, I knew who you were. Before you had a body in which you could do something in, I knew who you were. Man, that's encouraging to me because God knows you. Before God saved you, he knew who he was saving. He knew all of the problems that you had. He knew all of the issues, all of the shortcomings. He knew all of your sins. He knew all of your favorite sins. He knew about that one thing that you cannot seem to get a hold of. He knows about it. He knew about it then. He knew who you were before he saved you. He knew the problems that you had. He knew the issues that you had. He knew that if you get on that job that he's going to bless you with, you're going to have an issue with the boss and you're going to pop off at the mouth and you're going to lose. He knew all of that stuff. He knew. He knew. God knew who you were before he saved you. And he saved you anyways. And he saved you in spirit. Of Why do we act surprised when we do something wrong? Or why do we act like I don't have no problems? Why do we try to hide the fact that we got an issue? It's human nature. Obviously, we know that. I mean, we see the example that Adam showed us in the garden, right? Adam messed up. God knew he was going to mess up. Because the Bible says that the lamb was slain from the foundation of the world. God knew that Adam was going to make a choice that will mess everything up. Everything that God had originally planned, his original design, this is my intention, this is what I want to do, but I know that Adam is going to mess it up. So I know that my original intent, I'm not going to get that in the beginning. God orchestrated and ordained that to be for a time in the future. But he had to initiate it because it was the plan. So when Adam sinned, he tried to cover it up as if God didn't know. Now, granted, listen, maybe Adam didn't know that God knew. Maybe Adam didn't know that God was omnipotent. I don't know what Adam knew about God. I don't know if Adam knew that God created this place. Maybe the Bible tells us that it doesn't come to my mind at the moment. Maybe, maybe Adam didn't know that God was omnipotent or that God was omniscient or omnipresent. Maybe he didn't really know that. The Bible says that God walked with Adam in the cool of the day. We're not exactly sure what all Adam knew about God. Maybe he didn't know. In any case, Adam tried to hide his mistake. He tried to cover it up. He tried to pretend like, he tried to act like he didn't have a problem. Now, how many times do we do that? Now, obviously, there's always uh, 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 an exemption to the rule. There's always somebody that, you know what? I don't have that problem. There's an exception. Okay, fine. But for most people, we try to cover up. We try to hide. I do it. I try to hide my mistakes. A lot of times I try to hide my sins. And even though I know God knows, I try to keep it to myself. I don't want to tell nobody. I don't want to tell people. I'm tired of running to people and telling them that I got the same issue, the same mistakes. And it's so human of us to do that. And we even hide these things from God. And all along, God knew. And here's a big thing. This is something that I'm, I'm debating with myself. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to learn something. A lot of times we get under the impression that God is mad at me, that God is angry with me, or that God is upset with me because I made a mistake. 
as if God didn't know. Maybe in the moment God feels a sting of disappointment or like, man, you know, maybe in the moment God feels the reality of it. But is that something that throws God off kilter and causes him to go into a rage of judgment and punishment and wrath? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's like that. I'm not exactly sure. I still, I want to learn, you know, what is it? Now, my opinion, my hypothesis is that when we make a mistake, I don't, I don't think that God gets angry or God gets upset at us like we imagine. Like if your buddy does something to you or a friend does something to you or somebody that you like does something to you to betray you, we get mad. Maybe you even knew that they were going to do that and you got mad anyways. But that's human nature. And the Bible does say that God is not like a man. So it leaves room for a lot of pondering. Does God get upset when we make mistakes? You could argue, well, Father, you already knew that I was going to do that. You knew my weaknesses. You knew my strength. You knew my struggle. You knew my fight. You knew that I was going to fight with these things and that they were going to over. You knew that it was going to be a battle. You knew that I would fall how many times? What does the scripture say? The righteous fall seven times and seven times get back up. Wow. When we put that in perspective, that looks like a cycle, doesn't it? You ri you, you're walking, you fall, you rise. Everything is good. You dust yourself off, you walk, you fall, you rise. You dust yourself up, you walk, you fall. The Bible says seven times the righteous man falls and gets back up again. That looks like a cycle to me. How many of you are caught in a cycle where you're walking, you fall, you rise, you walk, you fall, you rise, you walk, you fall, you rise. And you're like, man, how can God love me? How can God put up with me? God knows that you can get bound up in a cycle. God knows. He understands that. That's why he's given us grace and mercy. Some of us, we've been in a cycle and the cycle has not played out and destroyed us like it should have. We ever think about that? Because God's mercy is there. Yes, maybe we endure some consequences. Yes, maybe we experience some, some, some setbacks. Maybe there's some things that happen as a result of us doing that. But the grace and mercy of God can always be found. The scripture says that his mercy is renewed every morning. And that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. That we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. If you find yourself in a cycle of up and down and up and down and up and down, my best advice to you and myself is, listen, just don't quit. Don't give up. If you fall, rise. If you fall, rise. If you're down longer than you want to be down, then God is going to raise you up. God is going to help you. If you're down right now and you have a desire to rise, but you don't have the strength and you don't see how, maybe you don't even have the desire. Maybe you can't even fight your way back up. Maybe the thought of, you know what? I messed up. I fell. Now I got to fight my way back up. Maybe the thought of fighting your way back up. Maybe the memories of in times past where you had to fight and you had to struggle to get back up. Maybe you've done that so many times that now you've fallen and the idea of, man, I got to go through all that again. Maybe that has robbed you of your virtue and you're like, man, I'm just down. I can't get back up. I can't go through that. I can't. I don't have the energy to fight my way back up. Let me tell you. God is always in control and God will always help us. His grace is sufficient for us. You see, 
It's our willingness to rise. It's our desire to rise. It's, it's when we struggle to rise. And even when we don't, God comes to meet us where we are. His strength will meet us where our weakness begins. And God knows which is which. God knows if you're pretending to flop around on the floor and, and you're just being late. God knows that. He knows if, if genuinely, man, I see my son, I see my daughter, they made a mistake again, and this time they're tapped out, they're discouraged. God knows how to deal with those situations. No matter where you are, no matter what's going on, God knows how to deal with that situation. God knows how to lift you up. God knows how to bless you. God knows how to strengthen you. God knows how to comfort you. God knows how to be there for you. These things, they're not a surprise to God. Like we might, maybe we're surprised. Dang, I thought I was good. I thought I was bad. I thought I had victory over that thing. I thought I, I, I thought I broke it to a new dimension. I felt a shift. I felt a breakthrough. And here I am again. <laughs> Listen, maybe you're surprised, but God's not surprised. And I don't know whether God is disappointed or not. I don't imagine I don't imagine God can be, but this is my opinion. I don't think that, how can God be disappointed if he knew? I don't know. Maybe that's something that you need to decide for yourself. But look, whatever cycle you're in, whether up or down, God knows where you are. He's not surprised because before you were formed in the womb, God knew who you were. So the secret to being righteous is to continue striving for God. Be willing and see what God will do for you. God bless you. May the grace of God ever be with you to help you in your time.